Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about a man in Maine who almost got away with a drive through bank robbery. Before we start the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. Thank you. Jason Arsenault, 41, of Westbrook, is being accused of robbing a bank through the teller drive through by using the pneumatic tube. You know that tube that you see in the drive through bank? with the that you put like your bills and stuff through or your deposit checks through that then comes back to you in another tube that's how he tried to rob the bank authorities said that on january 26th arsenal pulled up to the drive through of the key bank at 445 gorham road he had been driving a black chevy suburban and was wearing a black hat sunglasses and a face mask the south portland police department said the vehicle was believed to be stolen Arsenal in the drive through passed a note through the teller through the tube reading car bomb, no cops, no alarms, or we all die. $50,000 in 20s. Can you imagine what's going through the bank teller's head at that moment? She's in a real life bank heist, something that you rarely see nowadays. Bank robbery is almost up there with bootlegging liquor, how old it is. When's the last time you heard of an actual successful bank robbery? Peter, why'd you want me to get us into this prison? Because, Joe, everyone knows that all prisoners make bootleg wine in their toilet. We are gonna get so wasted. Oh, look, right here. This one's full of Chardonnay. The U.S. Attorney's Office said the bank teller placed some money in the pneumatic tube and Arsenal took the money before driving away. Federal prosecutors also said that through multiple surveillance cameras, investigators were able to trace the vehicle's movements and captured an image of Arsenal's face, leading to him being identified as a suspect. Why even take your mask off? So many criminals do not get caught nowadays by just wearing a face mask or wearing one of those shysty masks, as they call them, those ski masks. All he had to do was keep his identity as concealed as possible and stay away from city streets with cameras. He would have been so fine, so good. On a side note, you ever seen those people outside in ski masks, like a full on ski mask and it's like 90 degrees to 100 degrees outside? I think those people have legit mental issues. There's no way you're not sweating and you're not hot under there. Like you're, you're crazy. Arsenal's vehicle was located in a short time later in a parking lot at 75 John Roberts Road, which is about one mile away from the bank. And several professional offices at that address were evacuated for a time until the vehicle was deemed safe why only drive one mile away he should have had something like an extra getaway vehicle or even a bicycle to get on so he could get away i don't think he has seen enough bank robbing movies or really thought this idea through i think the moment he got the money from the tube he was like oh my god this actually worked and like his brain was just on fire from adrenaline he's like fuck i gotta get out of here Also something that I want to mention, this actually happened to me as a kid, not getting robbed at a bank, but having like a bomb in my area. Basically in high school, somebody had called in a bomb threat and we had to be evacuated for about half the day, three hours while the bomb squad searched the school. All the students knew it was just a prank because at the time we had like AIM and MySpace and there was a rumor going around that somebody was going to call in a bomb threat because there was a pay phone right outside the school and you didn't need change. All you had to do was call 911 on the pay phone and call on a bomb threat. And at the time there was like no cameras in the area that I was at. So that just became like a really big thing for my school. Let's get back to the story. What I wanna mention right now is how he got caught. He got caught in the most idiotic way. So, six days after the robbery at about 10 p.m. on February 1st, Arsenault was arrested in Portland, Oregon after he was found inside a parked vehicle on Maple Street. He was found inside of a parked vehicle after robbing a bank and having money. What is going through this man's mind? The U.S. Attorney's Office said Arsenault confessed to the robbery following his arrest and directed investigators to the stolen money which was hidden in a backpack in Baxter Woods in Portland. Police said they found nearly all of the $30,000 that was stolen during the bank robbery. So he went out of his way, risked time in prison, actually had the money in his possession and didn't even spend it. And when he got caught, he just directed them straight to the money. He could have gotten a hotel or gone somewhere way out of state or maybe even tried to leave the country. Why just sleep in a car? At least sleep in the trunk or buy some camping gear and go camping in the woods 
with all the money that he had. He had so many options and he chose the most idiotic one, sleeping in a car, which most likely he didn't own because it seems like he already has a history of robbing vehicles. In addition to the maximum 20 year prison sentence, federal prosecutors said Arsenault faces a maximum fine of $250,000 and up to three years of supervised release. Oh my God, bro. You almost got away with a drive through bank robbery and the only way you got caught is number one, you drove only a mile away. Number two, you decided to take off your disguise knowing that there's cameras everywhere nowadays. And number three, you decided to sleep in a car that was most likely stolen, even though that's not saying it here. I'm just going to guess it's most likely stolen or broken into. He got away with bank robbery, but couldn't get away with the whole goddamn thing. He got away with the bank robbery initially but didn't know how to put the pieces together to actually get away with it, which I find ridiculous. Like, come on, bro. Anyways, so what are your thoughts on this drive through bank robbery criminal? Do you think this was the step towards the perfect crime or he would have gotten caught eventually? As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. See you later. Peace.